I wanted to come up with some spring outfits for you, but some spring everyday outfits. Casual outfits. I'm actually going to use items that you've probably got in your wardrobe. I'm also showing some outfits using items donated to me by Cupshe who are sponsoring this video. Cupshe, they know our secret as well. Flutter sleeves are very popular at the moment. I love the sage green and I think it goes beautifully with cargo pants actually. The sage and the, ol the olive khaki colour. I've got black mules on the moment but I think it's going to look fabulous with some white trainers so I'm just going to go and do that. Right so we've got trainers on as well and I've added a green bag. I, I love it, I love it, I love this this colour combination. It's very modern. These colours happen to suit me so that's good as well. I like the eyelet detail and the sleeves as well, these flutter sleeves and the fact that this is actually very discreet under the arms as well. Very similar to a top I've already uh, bought so obviously I'm liking this style at the moment, aren't I? So Cupshe have actually been around since 2015. I had no idea. The reason I wanted to work with them is because this is my first time with working with them. I've seen them around a lot on other videos. I'm very familiar with the idea that what they do very well is bikini, swimwear and resort wear. So I wanted to explore their casual everyday wear for us because that's the majority of our life, isn't it? We're not majority of our life on the beach. We're the majority of our life actually maybe at the shopping mall. Well at the supermarket. And I know that they're well known for their bikinis and so on and what they do very very well with their bikinis if you are on the hunt for a bikini is that they sell it in two parts. So if you so as you can mix, miss it, well, I'll get my mouth around my words, mix and match your sizes which I find very useful. And Cupshe are giving you a discount of 15% if you use the coupon code named after me myfashion15. Now this is nice and fresh isn't it? Using the, the sage coloured blouse with the feminine details that's very on trend this year with my white jeans and white trainers. Very spring-like look. So this is this is definitely you could say coffee with friends. It's also definitely pub garden as well. Pub garden in the summer. So this top is long sleeved actually. If you're looking for a sleeve that is going to cover up all your sins up here that's that's quite a good idea. You could alternatively iron it up or put a stitch in it to make it shorter which I'm tempted to do. It's also quite long. I actually think that for five foot two size eight UK for me this small is actually what feels more like a medium but there are things you can do with the the hem to zhuzh it up a bit. So I've made this tie at the side. So I've tied it really tightly and zhuzhed it up to actually shorten the length and you can actually sort of make it slanted or um, just zhuzhed around. It's not front tuckable or tuckable like that because you've got the bulk there but I think it's quite an attractive top if you can wear black as well. Um, this top has a button at the back here. Great for a casual look with a pair of cargo pants which is obviously you know popular this year and I think this says this says like going out for coffee doesn't it? You know you're making a little bit of an effort you've got a nice top on your cargo pants which are this year and um, yeah, just seeing friend. I think this is this is that type of outfit. So for this one, I'm put on some leggings to go with the top, and I've actually undone this, and I'm making it longer because I obviously want it to cover me. So I'm going to be tying the bow long, low down. Yeah, I like the fact that you can do different things with the hemline using this bow. So you can either zhuzh it up, as I had in the earlier look, or you can just have it, have it long. So now with this tied slightly lower, I've got a really great length for wearing leggings. It's nice loose, sort of, um, this is an attractive long blouse. It's covering my rear as well. And it's, it's solving a leggings problem. It's very versatile actually, because you, as I showed earlier on, zhuzh it up so it's higher at the waist by using the tie tighter and holding it up, holding the blouse up, which it did very successfully. Or like this, very, very everyday looks that we're looking for. We're looking for something that we can just wear to the shops or wear coming out of the gym. Right, this black jumpsuit is easy go, easy wear, isn't it? This is put it on so you're going to look decent going out the house. It's a very comfortable material actually. Easy to wear to go shopping. You know, if you bump into somebody in the supermarket, you're going to look quite current and you're going to look great. But it's it's a really comfortable, everyday wear it, everyday type item. It's not it's not a going out item. This is not a have lunch item. It's not that type of material. It has the appearance of a t-shirty type material. Work with trainers. 
pop a jacket over. What I'm going to tend to do, I'm going to try, it's got elasticated waist, so you can sort of adjust it. So that's a petite, five foot two. It's got elasticated um, ankles as well. So it's fitting tight around my ankle enough that it's actually not, the leg's not traipsing on the floor, so it fits me great. I'd be tempted to put a little stitch in here because it's a little bit low on me, you know, at my height. I think the sleeves are a great length. It doesn't have pockets, which is a shame. It could do some pockets, but it's a lovely lightweight material. It's going to be great in the summer because I'm not going to overheat in this. It's very lightweight material. Very comfortable, really comfortable to wear. It's going to be great, great for shopping and walking the dog, you know, that kind of thing. Right, I'm going to show you what I mean by a belt though. So putting a raffia belt around the elasticated waist is another way of actually wearing this and so making the waist a bit more of a statement. Or you could use a slimmer belt as well, which I think it suits really very, very well, this um, jumpsuit with a slim belt. Suits it very, very well. Could do with pockets. Yeah, I keep reaching for pockets. I need some pockets here. Then of course we could just pop on this year's jacket, you know, the pink denim -y kind of jacket, just over the top, no belt, otherwise that would just be a bit too busy. And you've got your great look for going to the supermarket. It's just so comfortable, so comfortable, and you're going to look modern. Modern and comfortable is what we're going for here. Right, I like this top, I really, this is so feminine. Do you know, it's the neckline I love on this, and I love this, these, this, this ruffle around here, the hemline. This is going to be, I've chosen to wear it with some capri style um, white leggings, sort of skinny type, which if we've got in our wardrobe, we can still wear. It's just, you know, it's not what we're going to be buying this year. But if you've got capris and you're a capri lover, say Florida, black jeans is going to look great with it as well. So I'm going to show you the neckline in a second, but love these sleeves. And also it's quite discreet underneath. You know, you're not, you haven't got a gap. But that neckline, let me turn the microphone off. I want you to see the neckline. It's very, very feminine, very feminine top, which doesn't look silly on us because I'm not wearing a feminine bottom. I'm wearing, you know, mules and some white jeans. And this is not overly done and overly young and useful. It does have a button at the back, but what I did was actually do it up first before I put it on and then pulled it over my head because this neckline is wide enough to pull over the head. So you don't need to worry about having to get somebody else to help you or struggling with putting your arms behind you to do it up. Just do it up before you put it on. But yeah, love this neckline. You just need some earrings with it, don't you really? You don't even need, you don't need a necklace whatsoever. Love that neckline. I like the fact it's slightly wide. I think that's really flattering because it makes our necks look slimmer. So it's not just your ordinary ruffle. And obviously ruffles are around at the moment. They're very popular and current at the moment. These sleeves are very current. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's another top that solves a leggings problem for me. But I don't think it, I think this is actually too, it's too pretty and too much like it's, it's a going out top for a casual leggings look. So it's not my favorite to wear it with leggings. Although, you know, it's the right length. It solves a leggings problem. I like the shape of this around because it's nice and loose and it's, it's a good contrast against the tightness of, of leggings. So it covers me everywhere I want covered, but, that's not how I would wear it. But pleather trousers in black or leather trousers, perfect, or just leather, you know, um, black jeans would work great because then you're saying that this is an outfit for actually um, meeting somebody for a drink, isn't it? Or going out for lunch or going, yeah, yeah, lunch, um, casual evening meal, a pub. This is what this is, this top. There we go, quick change of feet. And we've got my black loafers, black backless loafers on. So really good spring look, or autumn as well, autumn too. So my next item is a white blouse that plays on the sheer trend. We've got some sheer sleeves here, but the top is layered. I'll show you there, you go, you got the layering. The front of the outer layer is slightly longer than the inner layer, but that's by design that you can actually show the sheerness of the, of the top, which, is current trend. This is the length of it, but I would obviously do my thing. I would do my thing because that's my character and it's my style is I would tuck it in. Yeah, so now we've got it tucked in. This is exactly the type of thing that I wear, isn't it? It's a tack 
exactly my formula, um, some you know trousers and then a blouse tucked in or front tucked. This fits me at the shoulders perfectly. It's modern style being the sheer look. It's discreet all around as well. And I think it it works. It's not this and this, this would be, this is your going out blouse, isn't it? You're going out for an evening meal, you sit in the pub garden or you're going out to lunch. That's what this blouse is. I think it goes great with pleather trousers. It's a bit too smart for cargo pants, it's too smart for leggings, so we're not trying those. But pleather trousers, absolutely perfect. Jeans though, I mean, because we dress up jeans, don't we? You know, we dress up jeans, we dress down jeans, so this looks fabulous with a light wash jean. The white, the stark white of this blouse, and then some, some light coloured mules. This is very spring-like and lovely. This is a great going out outfit for when you want to dress up jeans. So very impressed by this blouse. Very impressed. I've got something similar that's shorter sleeved that I bought this year. So it's, it's definitely my style, um, having already bought something along this lines. Now this blouse looks fantastic. This rust colour looks fantastic with light wash denim. It'll look good with dark wash denim as well. It feels really comfortable on. It has shoulders that come to just below my shoulder. Oh yeah, no, it fits quite well actually. It's quite well on the shoulders. I love the neckline. I think this, I've said so many times in videos, I think this Henley neckline is really flattering for us because it's elongating our neck at the same time as hiding a few bits and pieces as well. And yeah, it's not, it's not a boxy type. Is that the right word? Yeah, it doesn't cut us off at the neck. It doesn't cut us off like here, you know, and separate our head from our, our, our top and our body. I, how else I can say it really? Love this type of neckline. Anyway, it's a very comfortable material. It's kind of all of the materials are polyester y. It's, it doesn't feel like it's too warm or too cold. It's actually very comfortable to wear. Um, and I like the style of it. And I can front tuck, which is what I've done. I front tucked, and then I've got you know it hanging around down at the back here. Well, that all works. So, rust and denim, I think, are fantastic colours together. Fantastic. Love them. So this is another great little blouse I'm actually quite impressed with. And that would definitely wear because it fits me so well. I think actually, despite the fact that I'm supposed to not wear browns and rusts now, I do think this looks okay on me. And it used to be in my palette. And I think it looks okay. Personally, I think it looks okay. And I love this colour combination. Absolutely love the colour combination, love the neckline. Uh, what's not to like, really? What is not to like? So I love the crispness of this look, so pairing the tan blouse with white jeans and then a tan belt as well. I've got these awful low-rise white jeans that ignore that. I, I know they're current at the moment and these are from last time they were current. I really want some high-rise or mid-rise white jeans. I've really got to, so ignore, ignore these are low-rise. They do nothing for a waist, I've said in another video. Anyway, pairing with white trainers, lovely fresh look. I think it's really crisp, crisp look. I love the contrast between the, the white and the the tan. This will look great in the autumn as well as um, late summer and spring too. But if you're in the southern hemisphere and you're going into, you know, you're in your autumn now, I think it's a perfect neck for now, isn't it? Perfect. And you can put some little leopard print shoes with this as well. Mine are elsewhere, like in the attic at the moment, but I've got some little leopard print trainers that would look really good too with this in the autumn. This is a skirt. Um, but you know, I'm five foot two. So the way I could wear it, and I've just discovered this, is as a dress, because the elastic for the waist is so secure, just with a strapless bra, this stays up. Five foot six or taller, it's gonna be a fantastic skirt. You could cut this, because that is just cut, really. So you could take it up, and you could sew up that bit. More versatile in a way, keeping it this length really, and then using it as a dress if you're short like me. Pretty detail. It is this this year's skirt, isn't it? This. I bet actually some other brands will come out with this as a dress because it, because this is this year's this year's design of skirts, isn't it? This is the the influencer favourite design currently. Here I am, magically in a skirt. Actually, I've just all I've done is put a jumper over the top, so I've kept the. The, um, the skirt, it's, it's still up here, the, the waistband's up here on me. Alternatively, you could have it down here and you roll it over a lot, but then that can be quite bulky and it feels quite comfortable up here and secure as well, just nestled at my chest. So yes, this is how 
we petites can get the look that the taller ladies are getting with this this year's in skirt. You know, we can do this. And we're looking perfectly on trend. And there we are in our white trainers as well to go with it. And just pop on the spring, just pop on a sweater with it. I think that is very, 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 very. And no one knows our secret. Only you and me, we know our secret. And Cupshe, they know our secret as well. But this is really hitched up here. And don't forget, if there's something that appealed to you here, there is a coupon code for the site-wide of on the Cupshe's website for global shopping. And it's named after me. It's my fashion 15 for 15% off.